Danbury is a long way from Darfur, mm. but a group of high school students wants more of us to know about the violence in East Africa. The genocide of the Darfur region of the Sudan has taken hundreds of thousands of lives since 2003. News Channel's Kent, Spear, Kent Pierce spoke with the students who hope a seven-minute documentary and a little bit of star power will make a difference. The world promised never again in the aftermath of the Holocaust. The documentary is called The Promise. A group of Danbury High School students made it to show that 60 years after the Holocaust, there is another genocide underway. I can't believe that there's a genocide going on right now and people don't know. Nothing's really been being done to stop it. That's why they put together this combination of photos, quotes, and their own observations about the crisis in the Darfur region of Sudan. They now travel around showing their documentary to other schools. It's really great when you have people coming up after you, after the presentations to ask you how they can get involved and it just kind of it justifies all of our efforts. The documentary even got the attention of State Treasurer Denise Napier. She asked for a copy of it and once she saw it, she made a decision that affected the whole state. Two weeks later, they called to let us know that the state of Connecticut was going to plan to divest all funds for companies that do business in Sudan and that our video um, spurned a lot of that action. Tim Salem and his students have some other high-profile fans as well. When I saw the, the promise uh, put together by Tim Salem and his students at Danbury, I thought, yes, you know, this represents everything that we have to be hopeful about in young people. So now Mia Farrow joins them for their presentations. Even in the camps, there is no safety. Where she talks about her many trips to Darfur. The Danbury students haven't been there, but it has captured their hearts. They looked at this, they saw there was a tragedy happening, and instead of just shaking their head and saying, wow, that's so sad, and walking away, they decided to do something about it. By stirring other hearts to help out, too. I'm Kent Pierce, News Channel 8. Some exceptional young people there, and next month those students will travel to Michigan. They will give their presentation alongside the hotel manager who saved hundreds from the violence in Rwanda during the genocide in 1994.